Today, I'm going to share with you a really unique way of solving problems or issues that arise in your organization. This is called the six thinking hats technique. What the six thinking hats technique does gets you to look at a problem in six different ways. It takes you and your team beyond instinctive positions so that you can explore a range of perspectives. That way you can carefully consider each one without having to argue your case, make snap decisions about what's right or wrong. Let's look at these six hats. The very first hat is the white hat. This hat covers facts, figures, information needs, and other objective elements of a problem. So if I was wearing my white hat, my thinking would be, let's drop all these arguments and let's look at the facts. What is the facts and figures telling me? The second hat is the red hat. And this hat covers intuition, feelings, and emotions about the problem. The red hat gives the thinker permission to put forward their feelings about the problem without having to justify any logic. So if I was putting on my red hat, I would say something like, I feel like this is a terrible project or it's a poor proposal. We go into the black hat and this hat represents judgment, analysis and caution. It should not be seen as a negative perspective, but rather as a logical way to establish when projects don't fit into facts or information don't fit into facts, where there is any shortcomings um, or there's a lack of experience or issues in the system or in the concept. The black hat can come into case, in, well, you can use the black hat in worst case scenarios. So if I was putting on the black hat for a moment, I would say something like, let's play devil's advocate here. An example of putting on the black hat. We then move on to the yellow hat. The yellow hat is the opposite of the black hat in some ways. The yellow hat perspective considers the positive aspects and advantages in the situation. It looks at why projects or proposals or ideas will work and will be beneficial, or it finds aspects of past actions that have been positive as well. So from a yellow hat perspective, we would say something like, I can see some really great outcomes from this approach. Let's move on to the green hat. And this hat is the hat of creativity, alternatives, interesting concepts and ideas, things that are you know, provocative. The purpose of the green hat perspective is to look at problems in new ways. So thinking outside of the square. In another blog, blog I shared, I talk about thinking as if there's no square. So this is totally out of left field. It's like, what if concepts and ideas? Let's come to the blue hat now. And this hat represents the overview or the process of control. Its purpose is to sum up everything that has been learned or presented. So if we were to look at product development as an example, and we take these six hats and we then divide up our team into different groups, the white hat group, the red hat group, the black hat group, etc. And each group talks about the product from that hat's perspective, i.e. logical components, emotional components, devil advocate, and so on, right? It allows for the team to be more focused and co collaborate in these smaller groups. And then they can then rejoin with stronger ideas and, you know, meeting the goals and objectives. The six thinking hats concept and technique is a simple and effective parallel thinking process that helps people be more productive, focused, and mindfully involved. This skill set or this technique is very powerful. And once you and your team learn how to use it, you guys can implement it almost immediately.